Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Luckily we ain't got any lights on dash so it doesn't really matter at all. We? We're at approximately 35 degree angle I think. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Right then, welcome back to the channel and another Overland video. I feel like it's been a while since we've done one of these weekend away trips. But we've got the V6, we've got the Amarok. Stilianos is in the old V6 and Rise in the V10 and we've just stopped off at Arvister for some food and if either of these two are your cars I apologise because the car park's tiny and it's definitely not big enough for a Tuareg with a trailer and an Amarok on the back so we have blocked them in we've left his number in the front if they need to call us we can move it so yeah we're West Wales laners this weekend, uh, we're doing some lanes in South Wales and Mid Wales. Uh, thought we'd start the video here because the sun's going down, it's probably going to be dark by the time we get to the campsite. Uh, tonight I think we're just going to chill out, have a few beers and then up early in the morning to do some lanes. So yeah, that has been an absolute nightmare to get ready for this weekend. There's been a lot of late nights, but it's here, hopefully it does well, fingers crossed and uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Oh, trailers out well. Yeah, <laughs> just set brakes on fire out there. So the camp is set up. We have a nice little fire going. We've got the ditch light lighting up the campsite at the minute. We've got all the tent boxes up. The light, 2.0 cargo. And you probably can't see it, but the classic on there. So we've all got a beer. Rise go to Serrano and Coke. It looks like coke, but don't let him fool you. And uh, yeah, we're gonna sit back, relax, and then uh, enjoy it. So we'll see you in the morning. So good morning. We're just about to vacate the campsite and meet up with Ad from West Wales Laners. Everyone's ready, we've had his breakfast, so let's do this. So it's about ready to set off. We've been joined by Defender, Discovery, and something you don't see very often, off-road anyway, Supercharged Range Rover. So today is gonna be pretty much a friendly battle between Land Rovers and Volkswagens. Comment below who do you think is gonna come out on top and who do you think is gonna have the most problems? Let's find out. The border road. What's this one called, Miller? Uh, I think it's called Scratchy Lane. Why is that? Because it's scratching death outside the car. Right, oh no, oh. It's a good job we're not too precious about these cars. Trying to scratch it on that rock. Oh, that one, that one there. Big tree stump. We'll try and get around that tree stump. Oh, tree branch. Bad angle there. <laughs> Before I proceed forward, I'm not taking any responsibility for that Gret log, that tree stump damaging this V6. Oh, it's gone. 
Hang on, come on. Run, f***ing Are you f***ing cover on quick? It's on. Is it on? It's on, Are you feeling it? Oh, my. Run, f***ing What? Where's my phone? What? Amarok's nearly on its side here, what's going on? Oh, we're in a massive f***ing ditch. I might need somebody to come out and spot me here because it's nearly on its side. These are not fun green lanes, these. These are ruin your car green lanes. Yeah. <laughs> look how tight this is. We look like a quad cooker down here. We ain't done that. I'm just trimming some edges. <laughs> oh, I can see lights. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought we'd be. Yeah. Here. Oh, we're a bit worried. At Daddy, can I have to come yeah, go on then. Scrunching my face up. Thing is, they weren't just tight, we're like yeah, branches. Like, they were like. No, there were some big, yeah. big. I had awning rested up against the tree, and we're like that. Okay. Yeah. okay. So far, so good. Second time you've lost a mirror, Rob. Really done out technical. Like it's quite fun, this. We've just done uh, loads of damage. Loads of damage. Yeah, just yeah. loads of damage. <laughs> just more damage. There's a bit of damage here, look. What's that over there? Oh, a bit more damage. Quite a big rock. Make sure you don't hit that. Uh, how do I avoid that then? Well, go to the left. You got to look fine, eh? uh, That's right. Sorry, right. Bad directions, there. 
I'm clear. Yeah, you're clear. Right back. Oh. This is not ideal. What are you having for your lung smeller? Leaves. Salad. <laughs> Now you can get like Mediterranean <laughs> salad and like Greek salads and Welsh. Caesar salad. Welsh. This is Welsh salad. This is what you get. You get leaves in your face. Something, something happening up there while that's happening. Big dog egg. We're here. Having a little cook up. Oh, it has had this. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, steady. That way, steady. That's it, that's it, that's it. First time for the winch max. See how it gets on. Confident, Rob. All the way to find out. Same, Rob. Winch Max worked to treat. Yeah. Loving it. Definitely need a filler cap for uh, alteration. Come off once already. Can you lick the bar? It's mm. it stuck in. Yeah, well, apparently one of these is the wrong size. Yeah, temporarily. Sorry, mate. <laughs> we got a book in. bench round there if you want to go and sit on it. <laughs>
So, quick update, it's absolutely red hot. Feels like a rainforest in here. Um, the Range Rover seems to be fixed, but we'll soon find out when we try and get up the rest of the hill. The V10 has sustained a little bit of damage getting up there. It's not horrendous. That didn't were already there, pretty sure. And then we're just about to get the new V6 up. But I think because of the damage on the V10 and the problems that the Range Rover's had, uh, we're going to take some preventative measures. So we've got the traction bars down there as we speak. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get the V6 up in one piece without any damage. So let's, uh, let's find out. Oh, what's up with this? One of us said you don't need them. You said we're not doing all that needs them this weekend. I never. Put a brick side of that off up here. That's it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's it. Yeah, yeah, you're up. Go on. You're right this side. Drop it back a little bit and take a bit more of a run up. There's a big bit of a wedge here. That's it, go on. No, you need to get more momentum. That's it, whoa. How are you feeling, Jack? Oh, I thought you were just going to sit in um, I've smashed the door to bits, um, I'm wet through. Has it actually hit the door? No, I did not Ah, nah, nah, got me. Got me. Yeah. We haven't hit the door yet. Yeah. We, we, we have yeah. Two, trees there. What do you think? I'll just go to the bits. I'll just hit it. F***ing hell, you alright Rob? <laughs> <laughs> it's just gone flying. That's it. So not a complete success, um, as you've probably seen the V6 did get a little bit of damage. Uh, not too bad I suppose, could have been a lot worse. Amarok did well. That's a bonus, and now it's finally my turn to have a go in it. So, yeah, gonna have a look on eBay for a new bar. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. They're expensive. I look for mine. Done some damage to a CV. Easy. Oh, geez, about to have a go in. Scrapper rock. Scrapper rock. One thing we miss it. Well, two things. Both wing mirrors, so you're heavily reliant on your rear view mirror. Oh, wait, all you can see in that is Rob's Crocs. I had to throw them out at window, to be fair. Luckily, we ain't got any lights on dash, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, I suppose I'll just use this when I want to see it behind and just hold this out at window when it ain't raining. Wheel's gonna go over. Last lane 
doing it today and we were having bets if uh, it were going to be scratchy and full of trees I think Danny's trying to tip, tip the car over here uh, According to this little gauge in Ryan's car we're at approximately 35 degree angle of it Mella, sit right. Uh, I don't lean over that much. I've never had it that far over. I literally followed Stiliarnas' line, and Jack was saying, Do you think, oh, that's got a bit of an angle. You know how much brain power Stiliarnas puts into his driving, though. Every one of these lanes has been exactly the same. Crap. So according to iPhone, that is straight. There we go. And what, what angle are we on? Hang on, hang on. So we're we're about 36 degrees. 36. Mel has got himself into a bit of a predicament. Don't push us. Oh, yeah, don't push us. <laughs> well, at least if it falls, it's not falling far. Oh, wow. Well. I don't think this is actually even touching. Who will qualify for this? No, no, no qualifications in um, extreme angle driving. <laughs> How we ain't ripped on enough on that, I've no idea. I told you, I'd have put money on this lane and having loads of... His exact words, what? There's only mud, no more trees to me. <laughs> Did you see this is Rob sent to him yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's just an opposite. If, if I didn't know he was sound, I'd think he was crazy. You ready for round two? Yeah. What's think gonna happen? Do you think we're gonna beat 40 degrees? I think, what do you think tipping point's gonna be? It's got to be like close to 40. Close to where we've just been. Uh, yeah, I, thought, I reckon I thought if you'd have put a few more peas or beans on that side, yeah. we'd have gone over. If you had a big breakfast this morning. Yeah, that's it. Good job, we have no wing wearers. Red wing wearers have begun. I'm sure you said no more trees. 
These are genuinely the worst lanes we've ever been down. You can't really see the tent box on this side. Now we're just having to take the bracket offside of the tent box because these lanes are that tight, just rip side of that off as well. Go on, yeah, whoa! If you had to name video now, what would the title be? Can I George cover his ears while I say it? Cover your ears, George. Why the f have we come here? Is that title that, of video? That's the title of the video. <laughs> These are bad. They're, they're just crap though, aren't they? They're not, even they're not challenging at all. I well, said to our George, chop trees down. These are easy slaves I've ever been on. Oh, yeah. So what's the point? Do you know what I mean? I feel like we've been here before. I feel like we were more before. I feel like we can almost 35 now, we nearly got 40. I'm blind. I'm actually blind, I can't see it. You might have to just push on here. Yeah. So just push as hard as you can, basically. And just go on. Go on. Whoa. This car's gonna be. All the other options. Bad times, Mella. Making, making memories. So, you'll, you'll see what side of these things looks like. We'll put it in if not. We're not going through there, we are rest. So we've done this, with permission. Oh dear, we've done sillier things, I think. Barbed wire there. So, as Ryan just mentioned, we did seek permission off the farmer before doing that. Uh, it's probably worth adding that this was a very last resort for us. It's not something that we've done before and it's not something that we really wanted to do at that time. But faced in the situation that we were in, it was either damage the rest of the cars. The other option was to obviously chop down the tree, which is not an option that we wanted to do either. Um, so yeah, this was really the, the last option. Luckily, we managed to get hold of the farmer and get permission before we did this. Crazy driver. Oh, what a day that has been. <laughs> I'll be honest, there's probably a lot of missing footage from today for the last few hours, a couple of hours at least. We had many problems on some tight lanes that, to be fair, everybody struggled to get down. Um, even the lads from West Wales Lane has said that they've had, um, well, dodgy information as to the lane that we've just been on. They thought it was supposed to be quite technical, quite muddy. Yeah, I don't think it's been drove on in quite a while, to be fair, and well, the V6s encountered quite a bit of damage just from that lane. 
which is quite annoying. Um, but I suppose if we take anything from today, nothing's broke so far, um, which is good. But yeah, I think we're just heading back to the campsite now. I can't wait for a beer. It'd definitely be nice if we were going back to an hotel and getting a nice warm shower. But that's not going to happen, is it, Jack? No. So it might be a quick washing river, a few beers, shared towel, and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, it's better. So I don't know if this is going to be a two part video. If it is, well, make sure you subscribe to watch the next one. If it's not, I suppose you'll see us uh, in the morning. morning after an eventful day yesterday I'm not sure if this is now the start of a new video or we are continuing on so like I said eventful we've had to make some very questionable repairs today that'll do the v6 has also encountered quite a bit of damage which is not what we wanted but if we've got to take anything from this one if that had had rock sliders on there's a good chance most of that damage wouldn't have happened because Stilianos in the old V6 although it was already battered it hasn't become any more battered the V10 that also encountered a little bit of damage nothing major but again if we had the rock sliders on that would have been well, could have potentially been avoided. Yeah, we've got a bit more damage this side as well. So, it's exactly what we didn't want to happen with the new Touareg, but it's happened now. Nothing we can do. Hopefully today is gonna to be a better day. We've got, well, some well-known lanes today, uh, Strata, Florida, and then I'm not sure how many more we're going to be doing before we head home. Not sure if Ryan's going to be joining us either because he's got a car to pick up while he's down here. We're just about to finish up breakfast, pack up, we'll get on the road, get on some lakes. to head on to Strata, Florida. We are five man deep in Amarok, which should be fun. Cozy. Yeah, it's very cozy in fact. It's not that bad in front to be fair. No, I should probably give you more leg room. We'll sort that in a bit. So we've just left the V6 in a car park. It's not got a snorkel and apparently the water levels might be a little bit high. So we're taking the Amarok. We've got the Tuareg behind us, uh, the Stilianos's Tuareg behind us, should I say. And yeah, let's see how the Amarok gets on, on the Strata point.
You know. Deep as I'm f***ing drenched. F*** you know. I was f***ing them f***ers. <laughs> Why did you see it when you realised you were coming up your well? Oh, I, had to get, I had to get video, didn't I? <laughs> I think you went to the deepest bit. No. No, it's gonna fall off. do.
So we've just finished Strata Florida, one way. These guys from West Wales Laners are heading home because their house is that way, whereas we need to go all the way back again now to pick up the V6. So we're going to part ways with Ad and the guys from West Wales Laners. Thank you to them. It wasn't their fault yesterday that we were going to some trouble. It happens basically, but today it's been a lot better. Strata Florida is, well, one of my, one of my favourite lanes. But the Amarok's doing pretty well. The V6 is, well, it always does pretty well. Not sure how it's still going. It gets some abuse. But yeah, we're going to head back down now and uh, do it all again. So not good. You probably remember this from like, I don't know, 30 seconds ago for you guys. We'd literally just got round that corner into the first puddle and the CV went on the V6. So now with the centre diff lock, it's only got rear wheel drive, which is not good. So we're not gonna risk going all the way back through there. We're gonna have to head back the roadway and go all the way around the houses to get back to the V6. That we're not quite sure where it's parked. We know roughly where we parked it, but there's no signal out here and we haven't got exact location and the maps are not working and we can't ring anybody to ask them. So this is all part of the fun of off-roading, green laning. I'd say it's probably not one of the best weekends we've had, but it is what it is. Right, let's head back to get the V6. We're lost. Don't know where we are. Picked up car race. <laughs> <laughs> it's entertaining, kids. We just need to go this way. How much uh, guidance we got on here, Rob? Not much. No signal. You're not having a piss it back of my video, are you? It's on a vlog here. So a bit of a disappointing end to the day. The old V6 CV's gone. So we're gonna limp it home. There's probably is enough time for us to go back and do the lane again, but I think it'd be wise just for us to all go home together and make sure that the V6 gets home safely. So we're gonna call it a day. Yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video more than some of us have enjoyed this weekend. It's been quite stressful at times. Like I said, not the best, but I think in terms of weekends, it's definitely one to remember. It's, um, it's what it's about, isn't it? Making memories, being with your mates, work colleagues, and uh, having fun, basically, or as much fun as you can. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.